Begin adding documents by choosing the method you wish to add documents to your loop. In this video, we're going to add from our computer using this browse block. Once I click on browse, that will allow me to view any documents that I have on my computer that I can add to the loop. Once uploaded, I can just click right on the name to open. And instead of getting the autofill window, like I might with an interactive document, I have more options to choose from here at the top. Under File, I can print or download this document. I can split or rotate it if it needs a little sprucing up. Underneath the Add dropdown, I can choose options to make this interactive, like adding a signature or initial box, text, or strike through. If I scroll down to the bottom, Let's say I can add an initial there and then make sure I come up here to the top left and assign it to my client. I can also scroll down to the next page and add a signature block if I need to. And then I can assign it to myself. I'm able to sign this document just as I have it open. I don't need to send it to myself. I can just click sign now and it will grab my e-signature and initials from my My Account section, and I can just adopt and sign. If we go all the way over to More, we have things like messages, showing our tasks, and we can also go into the document history. We're only on version 1, but as we create more versions, this history will get larger and larger so we can see all past versions and movements on the document. Okay, now I'm going to click Save. I'm not ready to share this document, and we're going to go back out of the document to talk about archiving and unarchiving. If it turns out you actually don't need this document in your Bob and Betty buyer loop, you can come over here to the three dots and archive. It's now been swept under the rug, and we don't have it here with our other documents. If I need to, though, I can click Show Archived, and I can bring this document back by unarchiving, the same way I archived it. And then I can click Hide Archived and see the document there in the list again.